Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. I just want to say this little piece before the shave starts. Um, some of you might know that I'm doing the Edinburgh Fringe this year, which is uh, the Edinburgh Fringe is the biggest arts festival in the world. Um, in August, the whole of Edinburgh turns into a big arts festival. There's music, drama, uh, comedians, plays, shows like that, ballet, everything like that. Uh, it lasts for the whole month of August. Um, I'm doing a play this year, um, myself and seven other actors, so there's eight of us in it, uh, and we're trying to raise funds uh, to, just to kind of help pay for travelling costs and stuff like that. So uh, it's a Kickstarter project. I'll put the link for that in the description of this video. Um, so I'm just basically on here just to say if you can help out in any way, uh, that would be great. I would really appreciate that. Even, you know, a dollar, two dollars, a pound, two pound, whatever it is, um, every little bit helps towards the cost of uh, getting to Edinburgh in August. Um, as I say, it's not as cheap, but we thought we'd uh, do that, just a, a Kickstarter programme, um, which I'll put the link for in the description, as I say. Um, if you donate, um, unless we reach our target, as soon as we reach our target, which I think is something like £2,000, um, if we don't reach that target, you don't, you don't have to give anything. Uh, there's different benefits for how much you give. If you give more, there's uh, more benefits, but I'll let you have a look at the link. Uh, just click on it and uh, it'll take you to our Kickstarter page for The Collie Shed. That's the name of the play. It's a play about the miners' strike in the UK in the 1980s, uh, which was uh, quite a troubling time. So it's quite a good play. It got good, great reviews last year, but we're taking it back to the Edinburgh Fringe again this year. So um, we're doing the Kickstarter project and you can read all about it on that page. So I'll put the link for that in the description and anything you can give is great. I would be really, really appreciated. Um, yeah, if you can't, that's fine. You know, I just uh, I just want to put this out just to get the information out to people. Right, okay, uh, that's all for me for just now. For this part of the shave, let's go and we will start the shave. Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you and it's nice to be back here in the bathroom shaving. Um, it's getting quite late but it's still light outside. It's uh, around about 8pm in the evening here so still light, it's getting lighter for summer months and stuff like that so uh, I've got some lights on here but not the usual big ones that shine in the shower screen and stuff like that so I just want to get the shave done while they're still light. I hope the light's okay, I hope you're okay, I hope the light's treating you well. That, that's not a sign for anything, I just had a, a itch on my chin. <laughs> right, um, yeah, hope, you, hope you're doing okay and uh, the weather's nice and it's, uh, you're enjoying your summer months. I had a day off today, a day off work, it was my day off and I thought, right, I'll get a shave in. And I was supposed to do it this morning and then I got caught up with doing stuff in the garden and I was getting the seating out for the, the summer and just putting that, getting everything sorted. Uh, so it's evening now, so let's get the shave on. How are you doing? Good? Good. Right, the razor today is a bit of a special one. Um, it's quite a rare razor, you don't see many of these about. It's the Merker 37G. This is the slant razor. You've probably seen the Merker 37C. I've used this one before, but this is it in gold. Um, you don't see many of these about. I don't think they make them. They only made them for a short time. And uh, I found some in London, in GWF Trumpers. Uh, there was about four or five of these, so I bought them all. <laughs> and um, I've kept some. Uh, yeah, so there it is there. It's a slant razor. You can see the slant there. Made by Merker. The same as the 34G and stuff, but there's a slant on it. So this is the 37C. It has Merker branding around there. It's a two-piece. You unscrew the bottom like that. Head comes off like that. And there it is. In gold. Lovely. Right. The the blah 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 the blah 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 the blah 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 the blade I'm gonna be putting in that is a Gillette Wilkinson sword. This is the saloon pack made in India. Someone was asking about these blades, saying um who's it? It's one of the YouTube shaver that really likes them. I think Ken Surfs, I think he uh I think that's one of his this is one of his favourite blades. So um yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. Here's the packaging here. Gillette and Wilkinson sword. Made in India. Good blades, not too sharp or anything, but they're nice and smooth. And uh, I'll just get out of the packet. There we go. Wilkinson sword. Wilkinson sword, a Gillette product. 
Right, so the, you put it on this thread like this. For those of you that don't know how to load it, you put it in that little hole there and then you just hold it in place and screw the bottom and the blade will be perfectly aligned in the 37G. Oh gee. Oh gee. Sorry. Uh, the brush I'm going to be using is the DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves Discovery. Uh, this is a black resin handle with a tuxedo style knot, synthetic knot. Very good. Good brush. Nice to hold. I don't know if this is still available actually, but if it is, I'll put a link to it in the description. And you can go and have a look on, on the uh, website and see if it's still there. Yeah, it's a nice brush. Brushes are great now. The knots in the brushes are superb, but it's really what kind of handle you you sort of want to get. Um, this one has my name on it, so that's why I like it. Uh, the soap. A new one for me. It's a collaboration between the bricks and mortar store, the shaving store that's in my city, just kind of down the road a little bit, about 10 minutes from here in the car. And it's called the Gentleman's Groom Room. And there's a soap maker uh, based in the UK called Phoenix and Bow. And this is a collaboration between the Gentleman's Groom Room, Phoenix and Bow. And this is called Kiliach. Kiliach. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and Kiliach is a, a kind of witch. She's like a, a, a witch, like the, from, that goes from like um, autumn to spring and spring to summer and stuff like that. There's a, I'll put the description up on the screen just now and you can have a, a good read of it. There's a little bit on the back that will show you when we'll come back. So have a read of this. It's quite interesting actually. Very, very good. So have a look at this. So that's the explanation about um, the soap from the Groom Room, Gentleman's Groom Room website. I'll, I'll show you the back of the, the tub and you can pause it and you, there's some more reading on there and the ingredients is on there. You wanna pause that, take a look. There we go. Right, you can do that. Here's the soap here. Yeah, the notes on this are, the top notes, bitter orange, lemon, ginger, bergamot, mid notes of rhubarb, labdanum, labdanum and coriander and base notes of cedar, sandalwood and musk and there's a good hit of menthol on this. It's a nice smell. I think I've said before, um, when you get to use different soaps from the same maker, their base has a certain smell and I can smell the Phoenix and Bow base. Um, but it's a nice enough smell. It might be different once it's lathered up. It's, um, I'm not really picking out any kind of note, but like the bit of orange or the lemon ginger, maybe a little bit of ginger, but let's see how it uh, performs when it's lathered up. All right, so let's wet the brush. I'm just gonna go straight into the puck. I'll put a little, right, here's the puck. I'll put a, cause it's a, cause it's named after a witch. Habble, bubble, toil and trouble, put some water on the soap and make it reach my face. <laughs> Yeah, I know you're saying that. I've never heard a witch speak like that, Kenny. Yeah, me neither. Right, let's just uh, go in with a brush. I know Phoenix and Bow soaps are very good. Pillow based, so not for everyone, but I'll just dip the brush a little bit more. Uh, they're good soaps. So how's things? How's the, the weather where you are? The summer months are coming in here. Um, other than down under in Australia, it'll be coming into the winter months, but even then it's probably still not as cold as it gets. <laughs> it's probably still not as cold in Australia, as warm as it gets here. Yeah, the scent's coming out a little bit more. It's, um, it's pleasant, it's okay, I'm not disliking it, but we'll see how it performs once it gets onto the face. It's quite warm here today, so it does have a little bit of menthol on it. Right, you can see the pastiness of that. Look at that, it looks like a pig's nose. <laughs> Right, let's uh, wet the mush. Or the mug. Yeah, I've had a haircut. 
Okay, like so. Start playing this lather. Kiliach. Yeah, apparently there's a like a little sort of dwelling that I think it's for like, people that go hill walking um, up near Perthshire. Not not too far from here. Actually, the description was on the the website. I think it talked about it. But, um, I've never been there, so I should have done the shea from there. If I had time, dressed dressed up as a witch. <laughs> Yeah, you would have liked that, wouldn't you? All right, I'm just adding water here. A little bit more. Yeah, can you imagine it? Me in, the, in that little dwelling with the, the pointy hat and the green face. and <laughs> Dressed up as a witch shaving. Can you imagine if someone had walked in? What the hell is going on here? Yeah, the little van with the square wheels would have taken me away. <laughs> right. A little bit more water. I'm going to start lathering here. Start uh, working it on to the bristles and the face and the skin. Yeah, it says the longer that you lather, the uh, Bigger the menthol hit. I must say I'm not getting a ton of menthol. There's maybe a tiny little bit coming through now. Yeah, thank you for all the comments on the um, the last video. That was an aggressive razor. I can't even remember what it was called, the Yaki, the, um, the Yaki Harlequin was it? Yeah, and it was based on an old razor, uh, the Gillette Goodwill, I believe. A lot of uh, people commented on that, so um, thank you for that information, I didn't know that. Here's me thinking, oh, Yaki have came up with a, an original design. Nah. <laughs> It's a great ladder, look at this. Look at that. Is it gonna fall? No. Yeah, stop playing with your ladder, Kevin. No, 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 that's what it's all about. It's good fun. This is the best part of the shave for me. The lathering. Right, that looks good. Yeah, nice and peaky. Plenty of hydration in there, so it will be make it slick. Beautiful, nice lather. Right, let's heat the blade up. And the 37G, I hope this shave's good. Right, let's go with this. So, just uh, with a slant razor, you can see the slant there, just hold it as you would any other razor. Don't slant it or anything like that, just as you would hold a normal razor and uh, the blade will cut at an angle like that, like a guillotine. Yeah, you don't see um, many of these for sale. People say that slant razors are um, a little bit more efficient than kind of straight straight uh, razors, and they are. I guess they are. Can you hear that scratching? <laughs> I'll tell you what that is. That's that's my dog, little Riley. That's him scraping on the carpet to make it comfy. You know how dogs kind of fluff up their beds and stuff like that with their paws. That's like, a, that's him being a, a wild dog, fluffing up the carpet. He's 
good because it helps it clean the carpet as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't have to vacuum it, which is nice. Thank you, Riley. So I'm coming down the stairs. I can hear him. I can hear him coming down. Ah, oh, don't tell me I've sliced the top of that thing off. And I have. Yeah. So as I was saying, slant razors are a little bit more aggressive. Wow. If it gets uh, too much, we'll put the stick to go on it. I don't want it to be. Ah, oh, looks okay. It may be just a tiny little bit. I'm just taking my time here. Enjoying the shave. I must admit that this razor, it looks incredible in gold. Um, the camera's not really doing it justice, but it's really, really bright gold. Bright, bright gold. Yeah. Good like this on that. Right, let me rinse it. I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, that's that rinsed. Yeah, there's a little weeper here. And I think I have just kind of scraped that a little bit. It was bleeding a little bit there, but if it gets too much, I'll put, I'll put some of it. Actually, I've got the, um, I'll put some of this on it. The Perazzo gel, styptic gel. That's what it's there for. Don't worry if you get a little weeper or cut yourself or that's what these tools are for in your arsenal. Right, second pass. Yeah, I'm not getting much menthol, I must admit I'm not really feeling um, much menthol. If any, actually, maybe a tiny, tiny little bit, but not really, not much. It sometimes would get colder on the second pass, but it doesn't feel really cold. Nice scent, good balance. It's okay. It's a, it's not a scent that I would go, wow, this is amazing. It's just, it's just nice. It's just a nice balance of scent. Phoenix and bow, good soaps. Right, back to the 37G. Cross the growth. You can feel, feel the blade doing its thing. You can hear it as well. With the slant razor. And the uh, the Gillette Wilkinson saw is a good, good blade. For me anyway, it works for me. I think um Actually, slant razors. Remember in the last year I said open combs, I always get weepers. I always get them with slant razors as well. Not that they're aggressive, overly aggressive, not as aggressive as an open comb. Um, but I don't know, it just must just be the way it, it um, cuts the hair on my face. I'll just be careful around this little thing. Don't want to uh, open it up any more than I already have. Look at this, it's a bloodbath. It's a bloodbath, Kevy.
good slickness on that soap. Right, second pass done. Wow, there's not much left there. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number three. Okay, rinsed off, right, let's um, let's just use this uh, styptic gel from Brazzle. Yeah, it, comes, it has a tiny little hole there, just a little bit comes out and we'll just put it on there, a little bit of sting. I'm going to put it on this bit here. There we go. And then we'll go and shave over it. <laughs> yeah, you should really do that at the end, but I know some people are very squeamish about being seeing blood and stuff. And, no, we want more Kevy, more blood. Slice your throat open, yeah. Come on, Kevy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, let's go for third pass. A little bit of water on the brush. Yeah, look, you can see where I put it on, look. The lather just disappears. Look, <laughs> absolutely nothing yet. Let's uh, gather some more from the, the tub. Yeah, just that tiny little bit of stick stick in it. Um, the lather, it just sucks the lather up. But the puck's here, so just use more soap. That's what you gotta do. Remember, there's no hard and fast rules in shaving. There's soft rules that, you know, try not to cut yourself, but it's okay if you do. Right. Nice grip on this handle. Third pass against the growth. Yeah, you can hear it cutting there. It's cutting at that angle. Nice light touch. Got that little bit there. Do you have soaps that you um, that you use in the summer rather than winter? Like some people have soaps that they'll uh, like seasonal scents and they won't use like the darker scents in the summer and um, stuff like that. I don't really mind. Um, I don't really mind what soap I use. If I fancy using a soap, it's, I don't mind whether it's hot weather or cold or. Yeah, I don't mind. Um, like some people will use um, menthol soaps in the summer because it gives them a chill, which is nice. Yeah, there's a good few weepers here. But I think the cold water will sort that out. Right, let's have a little um, rinse in the field. Yeah, they're not cuts or anything like that. They're just, uh, just little weepers. Feels nice, actually. Right, see if there's any pickups needing done. I'll tell you what, there's <laughs> one tiniest bit there, that's all there is. Yeah, can you hear that? And a little bit there. 
plenty of um, residual slickness. That's okay there, that's, um, yeah, that's good. Right, so another quick rinse. We'll take what's in this brush and we'll uh, apply it to the face. Leave it on, rinse out the gear, then rinse it off with hot and cold and I'll see you for the post. Shave! There we go. Yeah, good shave. I've had to actually pull the window blind down because the sun's just setting and it's streaming right in this window. Um, yeah, I'll put a little bit more of the styptic on. So oh, it's fine, it's sort of these little whippers out. Nice shave, feels good. Right, it, um, on the website for this, because it said there's a good hit of menthol, it says to use a nice mentholated splash, such as Parasso Green. It actually mentions Parasso Green, so that's what I'm gonna use. There's a little bit left in this bottle. I have a new one waiting to be used, so I'll get this used up. Let's have a good glug of that. No witch hazel tonight, just straight onto the splash. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, nice little hit of menthol there. There's probably more in this than there is in the soap, to be fair. <laughs> no, it's not eye water and menthol, but you can feel it. It's nice, nice and cooling. Uh, and finish it off, continuing the, the green theme, I've got some Boots Cucumber Moisturising Lotion for a smooth day. Well, it's nearly bedtime, so uh, let's just have a little bit of that. That much. Yeah, that's making my eyes water. Wow, good stuff, Parasso. Parasso and cucumber. That's good stuff, good for the skin. Very soothing cucumber. Yeah, this is very cheap in boots. You get the lotion as well, and you get this cream, and you get the moisturising cream, and I think they're only about three pounds each. Good stuff, good to use. There we go, that's the shave. Nice. Right, let me show you what I've used. The soap for today was the Gentleman's Groom Room and Phoenix Abo Kiliach. 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 <laughs> right, so that's the soap. Yeah, um, it was just okay. I didn't have, I didn't pick out any one scent that was kind of jumping out at me, anything like that. Great performer, Phoenix and Bow, good soap. Um, didn't really get much menthol from it at all, if I'm being honest, but maybe you will feel different, I don't know. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a, it's just a scent, it's just, it's okay, it's a nice blend of everything, but there was nothing that I could pick out individual notes as such. It was just okay, there we go. Uh, the brush we used today was the DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves Discovery Brush. Um, there it is there, synthetic knot, very good. Star of the Shave, the razor, Merker 37G. And uh, G is for gold, the C is for chrome, so this is the gold version, very nice. Yeah, really, really nice. Inside that was a brand new Gillette Wilkinson Saw Blade. Three passes pickups, a little bit of for sear and stuff, but we sorted out with the Parasso Healing Cut Gel, the Styptic Gel. You can pick this up quite cheap as well. I think you get all this on Amazon and stuff like that as well now, but use your vendors if you're gonna keep the shaving vendors happy and um, keep them in a job and keep them in supplying you guys and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Post shave, Parasso Green, a little bit of menthol hit and finish it off with Boots Cucumber Moisturising Lotion. And there we go, that's an evening shave. Let's uh, pull this back up and see if the sun's, if the sun's gone. Look, oh, look, sunshine on my face. That's not something you'll see every day in Scotland. Here we go. Look at that. Wow, why is that? Please stop. <laughs> no, it's nice to have the sun shining. Okay, uh, that's enough for me for today, I think. Do you think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it says the guys that last ha left half an hour ago. 
Uh, we've had enough of this nonsense. <laughs> Thank you very much for your support, uh, your continued support. The, the subscriber numbers keep going up. I don't know what I'm doing right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know. Uh, but thank you so much. Thank you for all the comments and uh, the interaction. I love it. It's great. Um, there's always new people coming into this way of shaving, uh, checking out videos. So they've always got, always got questions that I try and answer or someone else will answer um, if they see the comment in the video. Um, the description of the video, everything's in the description. If there's links for everything, I'll put them there and you can go to the website or wherever it is and check them out. But all good, all good stuff. We just love shaving, right? This community, fantastic. Right, uh, have yourselves a great rest of this week, the weekend. Enjoy what you're doing. I hope the sun's shining wherever you are. I'll see you in the next shave. Shave? Shave. I'll see you in the next shave. I'll see you in the next shave. Until then, look after loved ones and take care. See ya.